Uh, I guess this is what this has come to. Uh, you boys and girls are going to get what you've wanted or perhaps what I've wanted. I spent a lot of time thinking last night about the pros and cons of getting back into bodybuilding, lifting weights to prove my intelligence and understanding of hypertrophy, not moving the weight from point A to point B, not getting stronger, not tearing your biceps or blowing out your knees, putting on pure lean body mass. I have dwelled so strongly on this because no one on YouTube, I mean, perhaps even in general, is advocating anything close to my routine or training principles, uh, partially because I'm crazy in every aspect of what I do. And although many of you believe that's because I have no idea what I'm talking about, perhaps the bad kind of crazy, I firmly believe and am confident that I have an advanced understanding of hypertrophy due to my objectiveness and willingness to experiment in the gym. In regards to future opportunities and growing my YouTube channel, th this was at the top of the list. I, I just couldn't think of anything that would make a more drastic impact. You know, I'm coming out with amazing content, high quality stuff every day. Uh, I don't think my production quality is that low. Uh, everyone else I'm looking at that's doing things I'm doing has a similar production quality and you know, lower tier of information, doesn't upload as consistently. Uh, you know, maybe YouTube has something to do with this, but uh, I just can't figure out why I'm putting in all this time, work, and effort, and things aren't paying off. From an actual time investment standpoint on a daily basis, it's about one hour in the gym every day. And I figure I waste an hour or more doing things every day that I don't have to be doing. Plus, I should be in the gym working out for an hour a day anyway. Might as well be this hypertrophy routine. The main cons from my perspective are that I have really bad stretch marks and they'll get worse, but my stretch marks are so horrible that I don't think that matters at this point. So we could put that on the back burner. I probably won't be able to fit into my dress clothes or some of my shirts, but I don't think that's too big of an issue either. Even if I put two, three, four inches on my arms, I'm not gonna put four inches on my arms. Uh, but even at the maximum growth potential, I think I should still be able to fit into most of my dress clothes uh, so even if the wardrobe was what I was concerned about, if this is as successful as I anticipate, I won't give a shit. I'll be buying 10 new wardrobes. Uh, so I might be exposed to a relatively high EMF environment in the gym uh, for an hour or so each day, radio frequency radiation, but what am I going to do? You know, build, build a gym in my garage. I might do that and I might go on Craigslist and try to put some equipment together, but we'll see how the next few months goes. This is going to be my starting physique. Currently I am five foot eight, technically five foot seven and like nine tenths, just under five eight, uh, weighed in at 140 pounds. Some of you guys might not believe my weight of 140 pounds and I weighed this much two days ago after finishing a three day fast and I had a big meal this morning. Uh, so I have gained a bit of the weight back and I keep in mind my camera and my tripod weigh a few pounds. Uh, 148. So I'm about 145, 146 right now uh, without holding the camera. Uh, we'll take some measurements, but I just wanted to give you guys an idea of my overall body frame and my body structure. I have a super tiny bone frame. Uh, what you guys have to understand is the amount of muscle I have on my frame is not even close to what an average person would look like due to my small bone structure, narrow frame, uh, just really my genetics in general. I'm predisposed to looking muscular uh, compared to other people that might have a similar poundage of lean body mass, AKA the Italian stonemason genetics. You know, my ancestors, you know, flinging around uh, bricks all day has led to something positive. So we'll take some measurements. And I already measured uh, before. Uh, I don't really think you guys care or, and I don't really care myself about these measurements, but uh, it, it's a good starting point and a good metric to know where I am right now, how I look with certain measurements. Uh, so my arms, I think were around 14 and a half inches. Uh, yeah, I'd say 14 and a half inches and depending on how I move this tape, I can probably manipulate it to be 15 or 14. Uh, so, you know, 15 inch arms, muscular at you know, 140 pounds for not working out in five years. I mean, a lot of you guys might argue I just have good genetics at the end of this, which is what I'm worried about. Uh, so, at least from looking good on my own standpoint. 
I think my forearms are around 11 inches at the biggest point. Yeah, about 11 inches. My, my waist belly button has always been 30. I don't anticipate it, it really getting more than 32. So if I flex right now, I'm 30. I'll probably get to like 31 or 32 uh, throughout the weightlifting period. Left arm is identical to the right arm I measured earlier. I don't think there's a point of me doing uh, a shoulder measurement here. It's, it's kind of hard to measure your chest and your shoulders on your own. Uh, but I can show you guys my chest measurement just to give you an idea of how small my bone frame is. So even my chest at the widest point is probably only like 36, 37 inches because I wear a 36 suit. So my chest is 36 inches. And the, these chest measurements, these shoulder measurements, regardless of how much you lift weights, they don't really get that much bigger. Uh, your bone frame really determines your potential for the size of your chest, for the size of your shoulders, uh, for the size of your waist from a measurement perspective. Uh, you know, your arm muscular measurements are different, uh, same with calves, but you know, building that density, that width in your shoulders is a lot to do with genetics. Uh, my calves are 15 inches, yeah, like 15 and a half, 16 inches. Uh, I'm speculating that I can get my arms to 16 inches fairly quickly with muscle memory. Uh, that's going to be the most significant difference. Uh, I'm not sure how much muscle I'm going to be able to put on my back. I, I've never really done uh, heavy, super heavy, like focused back training as uh, it was never successful for building up my back. But uh, should, should be able to just put on a decent amount of mass overall. And I just don't know because I, I feel like what's what's the point, you know, because, you know, a year because, you know, a year from now, even if I do put on all this muscle, you know, am I just going to decide to stop lifting weights? I guess I could. I guess who cares, right? Uh, so the only synthetic substances I've ever used are creatine and pre-workout powders over six years ago. D never used testosterone, never been to a doctor, used HRT, none of the, none, no hormones, nothing. 100% legitimate, lifetime natural. Uh, I'm going to use my understanding of anabolic foods to get results that no one is going to believe. Uh, if you guys saw my How I Raised My Testosterone video where I had the fake beard, uh, I got my testosterone from 200 to over 1,000 naturally. Although, uh, that wasn't really fun to do. Uh, I won't be revealing my routine until I am in a position to do so, uh, probably monetizing it, speculating six months, possibly one year from now, I don't know. Uh, I estimate my exercise routine to be three to four times more effective than the average one, possibly more, and that combined with my muscle memory and past bodybuilding size, I don't think there's going to be a more drastic transformation as a natural that anyone has done on YouTube. I just don't see it happening on paper. Uh, I don't see anyone in a position like I am, uh, you know, someone that used to lift weights for over, you know, seven, eight years, uh, someone that hasn't lifted weights in such a long period of time, that has an understanding of nutrition, that has such an effective training routine. I think my results are going to be incredibly dramatic and I'm going to speculate minimum six months from now, I'm going to weigh about 170 pounds at a similar body fat. Uh, and I kind of wish I just did this six months ago because I started a fitness trial because I didn't want to do this myself. I didn't want to lift weights again. So I started a fitness trial six months ago with 50 people and not one of them followed through. And that was a mistake on my part because even when I give people my training routine and have them do it, no one really executes it properly because the, the, the way you do the exercises and the load is so different from what people are used to doing in the gym. Uh, how fast I progress will determine the frequency of my updates. Uh, at best, it will be on a monthly basis. Uh, worst case scenario, I will give updates every three months. I, I don't know if I'll throw fitness videos and start giving fitness advice in between. Uh, I might just really buckle down and uh, focus on just the regular health stuff on my YouTube channel. Uh, I'm not looking forward to this. I don't want to do this, but I spend my entire day doing things I don't want to do anyway. And uh, I'm always trying to do whatever is going to put me in a position to improve the health and lives of as many people as possible. And if appealing to you fairy muscle boys is what I have to do to get you know, more followers and, and help more people, that's what I'm going to do. I'm also disappointed that I spent eight years lifting weights consistently and 
didn't capitalize on it. You know, I don't have a physique at this point in time that allows me to showcase what I've learned. Uh, so you guys might want to get a second job because you're going to be writing me a fat ass check in six months. Thank you guys for joining me. Uh, if you could please like the video, subscribe, hit that bell icon, uh, share the video if you want to make some people salty. Uh, listen guys, I, I'm not a narcissist. I don't, you know, I'm, I might seem confident, but you know, being confident and not being humble is just inherently part of YouTube. Uh, I, I truly am confident in my understanding of exercise science and just because all of you guys watch Athlean X doesn't mean you know more than weightlifting about me or, or anyone else. Uh, so if you guys would like to support me further, uh, you can check out Frankie's freerangemeat.com. Uh, we have a local beef box that we're probably sold out of already. Uh, we have the Wagyu beef on sale. We just added ground beef burgers. Uh, so definitely check it out if you want high quality nutrient dense animal foods at an affordable price point. Cheapest prices online, even though I don't like using the word cheap, and we have the highest quality meat. Uh, you can also check out Frankie's Naturals uh, for my hygiene and cosmetic products. You know, we have tooth powder, we have moisturizing cream, uh, we have, which is a ball grease, uh, vitamin D3. That's actually part of my testosterone regimen. So definitely check out frankiesnaturals.com. Uh, thanks again for joining me guys and enjoy the rest of your day. I just don't understand, man. Like, I look pretty good, right? Like, I have a beach body. Like, what, what, what do I have to do? Is this even worth my goddamn time? I don't know. I guess we'll find out, right?